Setting up content management in Salesforce.com is a very simple process. Content is available for all editions of Salesforce. So as an administrator, I'm going to go into the setup area and under app setup and customize, I can scroll down to Salesforce CRM content. First thing I need to do is actually enable this. So I'm going to hit edit and enable Salesforce content, which will pop up a few different options. I'm going to accept these defaults, but I strongly suggest you go into the help for this page to uh, find out more information in detail about how content works. But once I've uh, saved these settings and uh, enabled content, when I scroll down, I can see that we have a whole different series of options now that are available from creating custom fields, validation rules, triggers, content types, and workspace permissions. My first step as an administrator now is to say, well, I'd like to add the workspaces tab in, which is now available as we've set that up. So I'm going to go in to customize my tabs and I'm going to add the workspaces tab to my list. So now I can go in and start to create a workspace through which I can view all of my content. A little bit of housekeeping, of course, we do have a full content search, which will allow you to search not only the uh, uh, parsed document, but any meta tags as well. And we'll get to that in a moment. So the first thing that I'll probably need to do is to contribute a brand new document. To upload this document, I just hit contribute. I can browse and I can have a look for perhaps a uh, piece of, uh, in this case, a PDF that I would like to upload into content. Now bear in mind that content can actually upload any kind of file, whether it is a uh, you know, PowerPoint, a Word document, a video, um, even if you are working within a, a software environment and you'd like to use content to store things like software patches, really any kind of, uh, of content can be uploaded. So I'm going to go in and say I've got a, a software as a service survey here from Deloitte. I can put in a description just to say uh, it's a survey uh, from Deloitte. Determine what English it's in, or language it's in, because of course it can support any language within Salesforce. Once I'm ready to upload this piece of content, Salesforce is going to save this into my personal workspace. And the reason it's doing this is because I haven't actually created any public workspaces yet. So I'm going to uh, finish up my publication here. I'll be able to see in my personal workspace that I do have my document, the file size, when it was last modified. But perhaps I would like to create more of a, uh, a public forum where I can upload documents to. So I can simply go back into uh, my workspace area and say, all right, I'd like to create a workspace that will work for any member of my organization. In order to do this, I do have to be an administrator or at least a content administrator, and we'll see that in a moment. So we'll go into the shared content and I'm going to create a brand new workspace. And I'm going to call this one my, uh, uh, my sales workspace. And I'm going to share this with all of my uh, sales organization. So I can start to add members to this group. And this is where the privacy aspect comes in. I can create workspaces that are really restricted to only maybe HR documents or uh, something that's wide open like a marketing library or a sales library. I can even create partner libraries that are visible through the uh, partner, <coughs> excuse me, partner portal. So I'm going to uh, add some members here and I do have uh, one user that I'd like to add. And I can add people as individual users. I can add public groups if you have groups set up so we can add people en masse. You don't have to do it individually. So once I'm ready to go and add this user, we can determine what the permissions are for this particular user or if it's a group of people for an entire group. They can be an author, which means they can create new content. Or they can be a viewer, which means they can only view content. Or of course, they can be a workspace administrator and set up individual workspaces on their own. I'm going to leave this user as an author and hit save. So now I'll be able to see that in my uh, shared content area, I do have a sales workspace. There's currently no content available in this workspace. So I can now go in and maybe contribute to another document. But you'll notice there's another button available now called subscribe. I can actually subscribe to a workspace to be notified anytime this workspace has changes uh, associated to it. 
This time I'm going to contribute a different document. I'm going to upload a PowerPoint slide that I'd like to, uh, to add in. And this is going to be a sales presentation about how you can run HR applications within the force.com application, something that my sales team sorely needs. So this content piece is going to be uploaded. I can again put in my description, but now you'll notice that I can actually publish this to a shared workspace and I can select that new sales workspace that I've created. I can now create tags. So we'll say uh, HR, sales, and force.com as my tags. I can also put in any additional information that I need and I go ahead and publish this document. Now once I've uh, completed this publish, I can actually go in and view this piece of content. And what Salesforce will allow you to do with the content management piece is to not only preview this document, but a whole series of uh, ways that you can collaborate around it. We can see right now it's processing this file so that we'll be able to see the preview in a moment. So I can download this document. I can subscribe to it so I will be notified anytime this document changes. As the administrator, I can go in and edit this content, maybe upload a new version, or I can archive it or delete it. On the preview side, we'll be able to see that preview in a moment, but I can now go in, put in comments, so people can comment around this, this particular piece of content. I can track the versions. Right now, I can see that we're working with version one. I'll be able to track the different versions. I'll be able to see who has downloaded this in the past, and of course, anybody who has subscribed to it. All of these features completely reportable so that I can keep on top of my content management piece. I know which ones people like or dislike and track the comments. We have a thumbs up and a thumbs down as well. So you can go in and say, yeah, I like this one. I'm going to give it a thumbs up and make sure that we know what is actually being used and how useful it is. I can see the tags that are associated to it, who the author was, what version it is, the size, and any workspace that it might be part of. But when it comes to uh, looking at this preview, I can now go in and see this uh, document. It's 21 different slides. I can flip through each one of these slides or perhaps blow up to uh, a full screen mode and flip through these slides as well. Now I'd like to subscribe to this document. so it'll let me know that I have subscribed to the content so I can be notified anytime this changes. Now when we go back to our main workspace area, I'll be able to see in the sales workspace, we do have one piece of content here. I can now see tags, which as they are more frequently clicked on, will actually show the most used tags that we have within Salesforce. I see the activity now that I've subscribed to uh, the uh, the document, that I like a document, that I published a document, so I can track the activity that's taking place. So if I want to go into this particular sales workspace now, I'll be able to see a list of all the content that uh, resides within that workspace. But of course we do also have a complete search ability as well. So if I wanted to do a search for uh, a particular piece of content, just simply type in the keywords that I'm looking for, do a search and it'll come up with all documents that match my search results. Obviously, we've only uploaded one document that had to do with HR, but I can now see on the left that I can track the different tags and I can start to filter. So if I'm dealing with a massive quantity of content, I'm going to be able to say, I'd like to see only the PowerPoint or things that are authored by me or my workspaces or sort by language. So now, of course, I can go in have a look at this document. I can see that I've already subscribed to it, so I can unsubscribe if I wish. Now, when working with these uh, particular pieces of content, I might want to deliver this out to my customer. And content delivery is one of the very key aspects of working within Salesforce. And that is something that I will need to set up. So again, I can go in. As an administrator, I'll go to the setup area, and I'll scroll down to content delivery. And what content delivery will do is enable me to send this out to anybody. So I can see that content has been enabled. I'd like them to be able to review this. We can create password protection, password settings, so that people have to have a password in order to view these particular documents. 
So when I go back into my workspace and I'd like to have a look at uh, this particular document on uh, HR, if I'd like to deliver this out to my customer, we can see that I can either download this as a PowerPoint or a PDF. I can now go in and clone and customize. So I can take this uh, presentation and maybe start to move some of the slides around and say, well, I don't really want this slide in here. I can just remove that from the presentation. Or I can do a search for other presentations and drag and drop those new slides in to create a brand new presentation as well. Once I've saved that, I can save this as a brand new presentation, give it a name and a description, again publish this to a new workspace, and I've created a completely different presentation that I can now, we'll use uh, the same tags here, and I can now publish this as a brand new presentation. Now as I'm working within a sample trial here, I can't actually deliver this piece of content out yet. So I'm just going to quickly log into a live org to show you what that might look like. So here I've logged into uh, a really built out workspace. We can see I've created several different workspaces for marketing, partners, sales, etc. And if I wanted to do a search, say for a, uh, a router, I go into my content search and it'll come up with everything that has router either in the deck, uh, in the PDF, anywhere in the tagging. And now I can go in and take, uh, for example, a sales training desk, uh, deck here. And I can deliver this content directly out to my customers. So when I hit the deliver content button, I'm going to be given a few options. I can allow them to view this in a browser. I can allow them to download it as a PowerPoint. But if I don't want them to download it in its original form, I can make it a PDF so that they can't edit the information. We'll of course be notified when the first view or download is done and we'll be able to see how many times they've opened it and when they last opened it. I can remove access if it is um, you know, time sensitive and of course we can create a password to access this content. I can relate this back to any object in Salesforce so I know exactly who I'm sending it to or is it associated to an opportunity or an account. So when I'm ready to send this out we'll just uh, I'll put this into um, We'll use uh, United Partners as an example. I'll go in, associate this to them, and I'll be ready to create this overall view. So it's going to create an online version of this presentation. And bear in mind, this means your customer doesn't have to download massive quantities of files. If you've created a 200 meg video that you'd like to share with them, rather than trying to package it up and use file sharing, you can actually display it directly through content. So I can go in and preview this document. What will this look like for my customer? We'll be able to see, well, here's the, uh, the document. I can go through all of the slides. You'll see I have the ability to download or download as a PDF. So I'm ready to send that out to my customer. I can send them this link here and we'll be able to see this particular piece of content and when it was delivered. So I'm going to finish that up. And then I can go back to look at my account, United Partners. I'll go to my accounts. And let's look at United Partners. I'll be able to see in the related list section, as we scroll down, that a piece of content has been delivered. I know when it was delivered, how many times it was viewed, and when it was last viewed. So the idea behind these workspaces is really to make it easy for you to access your information internally, deliver any kind of presentation out to your customers, and of course, it doesn't have to be just an individual file. If I want to go in to create perhaps what we call a content pack, maybe it's a series of documents, some PDFs, uh, white papers, maybe video, I'll be able to see that we have uh, a complete pack available. And you can put this all together into one piece to send out to your customer, maybe marketing collateral or uh, sales information. So I can now view this and see that we have several different um, PowerPoints, we have some PDFs and a Word document, and I can go in and view any one of these individually. The power of being able to search not only the metadata, the tagging, but also every piece of uh, content that's been parsed out of these documents is very powerful. 
So that's a very quick overview into how to start get started with Salesforce content.